Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Kyle, I'm the Southport Mazda Delivery Coordinator. In this short little video, I'm going to be taking you through a few of the features and functions of your brand new Mazda. Let's get right into it. Starting off with your driving area, you can see just to the right hand side of the steering wheel, you have a little panel of buttons here. These are the buttons that you can quickly turn on and off certain safety features of the car. For example, on the top left, I stop off is how you can disable Mazda's I stop engine stop and start system. Two buttons in the middle, the top one is your lane support, bottom one is your parking sensors to disable those, and the ones on the right is your traction control button on the top there and down below with the view and the camera, this button here turns on the 360 degree parking camera system that the Mazda 6 and 10 s against. Coming back up to the steering wheel here, you can see over here on the left you have your windshield wiper stalk, left hand side of the steering wheel, multimedia and entertainment buttons such as volume up, skip songs, answer the phone and hang up the phone. Over on the right here is your radar cruise control buttons. Radar cruise control all comes up in your gauge cluster here. So, when we turn it on, set the speed limit comes up in the bottom there where the three dashes are. And when you're using the up and down arrows, this is how you can choose the distance to the car in front of you. And then over on the right, headlights and indicators. Up into the gauge cluster here as well, you can see in the middle where the speedo is is your digital screen here. You can cycle between different menus using the info button on the steering wheel. Servicing computers, range, shift computer A and B, and then you can go back to your cruise control screen as well. Moving over here into the middle of the car, you've got your MZD Connect. Down below you've got your air conditioning system. Below the gear selector, you have the commander dial, which controls MZD Connect right next to your electric handbrake here. Cup holders, of course. And then you've got your charging station underneath your center armrest here with your 12 volt socket, your port for the SD card, and your two USB points for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All Mazda 6s get the same dual zone climate control system. And you can see over here, rotating passenger side and obviously the driver's side when you move up in the range for like this Atenza model you do get access to the passenger seat warmer and ventilated seats and you also get the driver's ventilated seats and seat warmers as well as a heated steering wheel to navigate through your MZD connect screen here down with the commander dial this big dial here when you rotate left and right that goes between your menus and to select, you press the middle of it. Down around the dial as well, you can see just above, you have a few shortcut buttons. You've got a music icon just there, which will take you to your entertainment screen. Home button, back to the home screen. And you have a nav button, which takes you to your navigation screen as well. When you're plugged in with your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto systems, the music button will open up your Spotify and Apple Music, and the navigation will open up your Apple Maps or your Google Maps or your Waze. When it comes time to connect your phone to the car via Bluetooth, this first option here in the middle communication, select this with your command dial, then you select connect, and then from there all you do is select add new device, and you follow the prompts on your phone to connect to the car. Back on the home screen here, moving across to entertainment. Entertainment is how you can program your radio stations into the car. It listens to your Spotify and music via your Bluetooth if you don't wish to use the Apple CarPlay and Android systems. As you rotate the dial, 
the car will tell you what the button is before you select it as well. So you can always come over to your station list, choose what radio station that you want, and if you want to switch it to your phone to listen to your music, you come over to your entertainment option here, and you can go from AM, FM, and your Bluetooth. From the home screen of MZD Connect, you've got your five main menus as well. Over here on the left, you've got your applications. When you select this, this is how you can monitor your car's fuel economy and the vehicle status, and also enter into your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto when your phone's plugged into the car. The next menu on the home screen is your entertainment. This is how you can come through and listen to your radio and all of your Bluetooth music. Communication in the middle is how you connect up all your phone via your Bluetooth, hands-free. Over on the right here is the car's sat-nav. When the SD card is put into the car for the Mazda satellite navigation, this will come straight onto your maps, and when your phone's plugged in, opens up your Google Maps. Over here on the right is your settings. This is how you can come through and alter the characteristics of the car. Little things such as moving up and down the heads-up display changing the brightness of your screens, turning on and off your safety features if you aren't too fond of them, adjusting your speaker settings, adjusting the clock, vehicle convenience features, editing devices, and your system settings. All Mazda 6s come with a reversing camera as standard, and as you move up in the range, you get additional features such as front parking sensors, and in this case of the Atenza model, you get the 360-degree view monitor with dynamic lines, with the reversing camera, and also the front camera. Down with the electric handbrake, to operate the handbrake in the car, when your foot's on the brake pedal, you press the switch down. That'll disable the handbrake, and you lift it up to engage it. The button below, auto hold, is how you can let the car hold itself when you're at a standstill, so you don't have to have your feet on the brake pedal. So there you have it, that's a video on the features and functions of your brand new Mazda. Congratulations again. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below of what you found useful in the video. Also just let us know how you're going with your brand new car. Let us know what you love about it. My name is Kyle. Congratulations again from all of us here at Southport Mazda. Welcome to the Southport Mazda family.